So let's, uh, let's actually bring up Ingress VectorWise. What we're doing here is we're actually bringing it up in the cloud. So the team have created an Amazon instance, two processor instance, three gigahertz. Emma tells me that because the U.S. is is still asleep, we're actually going to get great performance. Uh, when the U.S. wakes up, then uh, things slow down a bit. And what you see here, because this is a relatively technical audience, but you don't have to read every line, for those of you back, is actually a thing called the Food Mart demo. So database companies for years have been using the Food Mart demo to test out software. And this is uh, set up to do a sales analysis. It's going to run through 50 million rows of data, do a four-way join, and some calculations, and come back and do some analysis on that. And so in a little while, we're going to actually run this. This is a setup for Ingress VectorWise. All right. So, but to make this you know, an interesting horse race here, we need to find some other database that's available on this cloud <laughs> provider. And so we'll launch that now. Uh, some database, uh, some kind of database out there. Um, so um, uh, this is the same exact SQL, all right? And we're going to do a little horse race now. I asked um, Roy to give us a bit more time in the presentation this morning so we could actually run the article, I mean the, the other database uh, technology. And so we, we actually have this set up exactly the same SQL. 50 million rows. Let's see just how long this takes. Okay. Okay, so, so what we've got now is, is, is an image up in the cloud. We've got two processors working away at this thing. It's bringing in every single one of these 50 million rows. It's doing some lookups on things like uh, the state ID and the tax and all the rest of it. And it's calculating this using the standard relational model. So if you were to read Marchant's PhD thesis, uh, which I was doing on the plane over here to make sure I could handle your tough questions afterwards here, you'll see that every time it brings in a row, it has to do a whole bunch of setup on the chip. It has to choose the right program. It has to load the right program. It has to go and find the right row of data from memory. Every time we go out to memory, you remember we stall for about 300 uh, chip cycles. And as it's chundering away here, it takes quite a while. So 52 seconds. All oh, right, 52 seconds. Okay, now let's see. Uh, let's see if Ingress VectorWise works. Uh, and look, this is the results here. So what we've ended up doing is we've analyzed the 50 million rows across all the different sales districts. We've calculated uh, how the pricing is going. We're trying to look for some sales managers doing crazy things with discounts here, right? And actually, it's not so bad. I mean, uh, if this was to more decimal places, you see there's some variation, but essentially, we're comfortable with what's happened there. Yeah, down the bottom here, you can see it really is connected to Ingress VectorWise. All right. So what we're going to do now, not content with 50 million rows, if I'm capable of working this laptop, uh, we will change because Emma and team uh, have got one with 100 million rows in here. All right. So here live, let's see if there really are 100 million rows out there. And um, right. Roy, you may have to wait for a bit longer, right? Because we're running a very long query here. Could take quite a while. Oh! One and a half seconds. So, Martin, first time in public. <laughs>